Aditya was the team leader and also in charge of designing and manufacturing the car. He coordinated team meetings, set deadlines for the team, while also doing his individual job, affecting the car down to its most minor detail. Anish got three fantastic sponsorships for the team and led the finances and marketing schemes for the team. He also co-designed the pit bull. Raghav helped in designing the car and was in charge of the social media accounts. He was also a major contributor in perfecting the final end products. Siddhant also worked on sponsorships and laid the groundwork for Anish to carry on with sponsorships. He also co-designed the pit bull. Unlike most teams, our team name and identity is not directly related to speed or cars, but it is related to the oceans, powerful and fast. Our motto, logo, team colors and even our name is based on the ocean and water. Even though we have just four team members now, one of them was a late addition, while two members have already left us. This helped us grow and adapt to our roles and responsibilities, which changed as the competition progressed. We helped each other achieve perfection in our respective fields, sometimes getting no credit, yet just doing it for the effort. Even though COVID-19 was a massive roadblock in the competition, we were able to overcome it and collaborate through Zoom calls, hangouts, etc., communicating with each other almost flawlessly. The team was truly in sync during the last two weeks, working as one unit. F1 represents the future. It's all about innovation, new technology, safety, and making your car the fastest. F1 and schools have helped bring that experience to school children. F1 promotes healthy competition among school children, and it also promotes making the best team. F1 in school not only teaches you how to make a car, but real life skills like gaining sponsors and making a business plan. I would highly encourage all of you to uh, join F1 in school as it, bring you, as it brings you one step closer towards the real F1.